Hey guys, Melissa Dunn here with the Melissa Dunn Realty team and I am so excited to be bringing you another driving tour. This time we are in the city of Prosper. We're at the beautiful community of Artesia. This community is a master planned community located off of 380. It's near Dallas North Tollway and Preston Road. So great location. You're in Prosper ISD, so fantastic schools. And you're also near lots of major employers like the new PGA headquarters, the Toyota headquarters, lots Liberty Mutual, tons of employers that have moved into the Frisco and Plano area. You're only about maybe 15 to 20 minutes from the Frisco Star and Legacy West, so great entertainment there. And of course, you've got the Gates of Prosper right here in Prosper. I can't wait to show you this neighborhood, but before I do, I have to ask you if this is the first time um, to our channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to become part of our family. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every single time I put out new content. We put out videos at least once a week. We do driving tours of different subdivisions. We talk about new construction properties, hot new listings in the area, and of course, tons of fun things for you to do in the DFW Metroplex. I can't wait to show you this property. Let's get started. Okay guys, so we are pulling into the community of Artesia. This is located in Prosper, Texas. Like I said before, you are located right off of 380. Uh, this is near Dallas North Tollway and Preston Road, so great location. We're pulling in off of Fish Trap Road, which is the same road you'll take to get to the elementary school and the middle school. So beautiful pull in when we come in. They've got a great water feature. As always, just as a little reminder, when I do my driving tours, I am not focusing on the camera, I am focusing on the road and uh, keeping the residents of this community safe. So if the angle is a little off, or if you see a weird reflection or something like that, uh, just know that our goal is keeping the community and the residents here safe. Um, and anything that we drive past, we'll make sure that we post photos so that you know what we're talking about. Um, speaking of that, we're passing our first amenity here. On the right, you'll see the uh, clubhouse, the first resort style pool. They have a splash pad here and there's also a large playground. So that's right here to the right. There's tons of jogging trails and walking trails throughout Artesia. And I feel they have done a really good job of maintaining the green space here. So you will see tons of green space throughout this community. You'll see lots of people outdoors walking. Um, there's lots of parks and playgrounds, lots of what we call po pocket parks or uh, gathering spaces. And I'll make sure to point those out as we drive by too. So Artesia is, um, they're finished building out here. Um, some of the builders that were in this area were Lennar, Highland Homes, Megatel, and American Legend. On the right here, you can see a really good example of the architectural style here. So because you had a, uh, a lot of different builders building here, you'll see while this is a traditional Texas brick and stone community, there's lots of variation in the exterior style of the home. So I, it doesn't feel cookie cutter at all. Uh, to the left, there's a large green space, which actually includes a soccer, uh, two soccer goals and a park. The park's really cute. It uh, looks a little bit like it's in nature with lots of like fake logs and cute things like that. And there's a pocket park here also to the right uh, and some seating that kind of blends in with that as well. Artesia is broken up into different sections. We're passing the commons entrance right now. They got the, these beautiful agave as you first pull in. As you can see on the right, more green space, more jogging trails. Uh, that's done a really good job of keeping areas separate, keeping them a little bit more secluded and making this community um, not feel like it's roof after roof after roof, which some of the communities this size can feel that way. There's tons of trees, so as this community um, ages, you'll have some beautiful tree coverage throughout. It's gonna be very nice to see in a couple of years. 
Artesia includes about 2,700 homes, so it's a large community. However, you'll notice as we're driving through, it doesn't feel that big um, because you've got lots of this green space. It doesn't feel crowded at all. Okay, pulling around here. So some of the amenities that you'll find in Artesia, you have a full fitness center, which is fantastic. You have two pools. We're heading to the second pool in just a bit. Uh, lots of trails as you've seen throughout. Uh, the two pools, uh, one in the front includes a splash pad and, and the clubhouse. And there's multiple playgrounds and pocket parks like we discussed. There's also a dog park and they have lots of pet stations throughout the trails. So they've really thought about, okay, what are people going to be doing on the trails? What will make their life more convenient? All that fun stuff. HOA dues here are very affordable. Um, they're right at the time of this recording, they're only 332 semi-annually, which is a very affordable rate compared to some of the other communities with amenities like this, uh, sometimes reaching, you know, into the 2000s. We're passing the second pool now on the right. Uh, second pool is a little bit more modern in style. I kind of like it the best. Um, they've got lots of lounge chairs, some cabanas, There's the fitness center is also attached to this pool. There's a large green space in the front, so lots of room to play and tons of uh, rocking chairs that are under the covered patio. So really, really nice area for you to come out and enjoy the outside of the neighborhood, gather with friends and get to know your neighbors. So some of the things that you can do in this area, uh, Gates of Prosper is only 10 minutes away. Uh, Legacy West is only 17 minutes away. We love Legacy West. The food hall there is super fun. There's lots of different uh, eating and entertainment areas there. At the food hall, they have um, a great outdoor area where they host um, trivia nights or they'll have live music. So really, really fun there. Tons of different types of food so everybody can get what they want. Uh, the, the Frisco Star or the Star at Frisco is only 15 minutes away, so that's very, very close to if you are a Dallas Cowboys fan. Um, and then Stone Prayer Center is a fabulous mall and it is only 16 minutes away. So all the entertainment, everything you could ever wish to do, very, very close. Here we're passing another green space on our right. It includes another playground, a big green field, and this actually has the dog park attached to it. So if you're looking for a place to let your puppy play off leash, this is where you would go. So let's jump into a little deep dive on the market in this a particular community. So inside of Artesia in the last 90 days, the resale market um, homes have ranged from 2,047 square feet all the way up to 3,794 square feet with the average home being uh, 2,916 square feet. Of those homes, lot sizes range from 0.13 to 0.20 acres with the average lot in Artesia being 0.15 acres. So that's pretty typical for uh, subdivisions like this in Prosper. In the last 90 days, and granted our prices in DFW are changing rapidly, uh, this is being filmed mid-April. Uh, mid uh, in the last 90 days, homes have been listed for between 499,000 to 700,000, with most selling for well over list price. Sold prices have ranged between 489,000 all the way up to 825,000. On average, homes in Artesia are selling for $229 a square foot or about $662,000. Homes in Artesia have sat on the market between zero to 36 days uh, with most homes selling in just nine days. Long-term rentals are allowed in Artesia. Uh, on average, homes in Artesia will rent for about $1.23 a square foot, which is actually above the average. So let's talk schools. 
Artesia is located in highly rated Prosper ISD. Uh, it feeds into Stuber Elementary, which has no rating because it's so new. Um, however, it did boast a four out of five star on schooldigger.com. It feeds into Rushing Middle School. Rushing Middle School also does not have a rating on great schools, but it boasts a five star rating on School Digger. And Prosper High is massive and impressive with an eight out of 10 rating on great schools and a five out of five on School Digger. So amazing schools. Everyone contacts us looking for Prosper ISD. Both Stuber and Rushing Elementary are about six minute drive from the community, um, just on Fish Trap, the road that we pulled in on. And Prosper High is only about 12 minutes from the community and it's near Preston Road. Liberty Mutual is one of the uh, major employers here and they're only about 19 minutes away. Uh, the, to the Toyota headquarters in Frisco is only about 20 minutes away and they are building the new PGA headquarters right across 380 from here and it's going to be just six minutes away. It's going to be a 600 acre mixed use development. The initial investment is worth over half a billion dollars which is amazing and it's estimated to have an economic impact of more than two and a half billion dollars over the next 20 years so pretty pretty cool. So as we drive down the street, we actually have a listing coming up on Woodlawn Trail, and we'll post a couple of photos of that property here. This property is beautiful. It is a, uh, a hot listing, been very popular. It's priced very competitively at just 210 per square feet or $650,000, uh, making it the best opportunity here in Artesia. And um, that home is located Let's see, we're going to come right around this bend and we'll get you there. Um, and that home is a five bedroom, four bath, two bedrooms and two full baths are located on the first floor, which I know is very popular. Uh, plus it has an additional living space upstairs in the formal dining room. Um, and this home is located right here on the right with the white stone entryway. So we just passed it. Beautiful home. Uh, the formal dining room can be used as an office. Um, or a formal dining. It's, it's got an eat-in kitchen, granite countertops, great covered patio, so wonderful home there. So if you're interested or you're looking, we'd love to help you, so give me a text at the number below. So what are my three big pros for this area? Um, I think location would be number one. There is so much to do here. It's so easy to get to some of North Dallas and the suburbs uh, top areas and top employers. Uh, schools are amazing. Most people come to me looking for Prosper ISD. It's their top ISD choice. Uh, so I would have to say amazing uh, ISD. Prosper has really stayed on top of maintaining academics with such consistent population growth. And the amenities. I mean, you're not paying huge HOA dues compared to some of the other communities that we've reviewed on this channel. And you're still getting two pools, uh, multiple parks, Splash Park, Fitness Center. Those are really big amenities and um, things that I think are well worth the HOA dues that they're charging right now. I would say one of the cons here is going to be 380 because <laughs> that's the whole thing. Uh, there are plans to expand 380. Uh, we'll post a link to um, a video that the local news station did here uh, describing very clearly what they're doing with 380. Um, but what they're basically planning to do with 380 is expanding it and converting it from a high speed rural roadway into an urban lower speed roadway. Uh, there, that should get rid of the congestion that we've noticed there and improve the safety. Another thing to keep in mind, the tax rate here is 2.66. I know I get that question a lot. Okay, so just to wrap up, Artesia. A uh, great reservation of green space. We think they've done a fantastic job making sure that the community feels um, like it's not congested. Uh, homes are the traditional North Texas style, so you're gonna have lots of brick and stone here. The location is A plus fantastic. There are lower HOA fees here than other master plan communities, and the school district here is top notch. That would be uh, my, my short list of things that really make Artesia a unique community.
But yeah, so fantastic community. We would love to help you make Prosper home. So if you or someone you know are looking for a home in the DFW Metroplex, please uh, come our way, shoot us a text. And if you'd like a, a virtual tour or if you'd like to schedule an in-person tour of the listing that we have on Woodlawn, if it is still available when you're watching this video, uh, please shoot us a text or give us a call. We would love to uh, connect with you and help you make Prosper home. Okay guys, so thank you so much for coming along with me on that driving tour. I am super grateful that you made it to the end of the video. As always, if you or someone you know are looking for a home in the DFW Metroplex, I would love to be your realtor of choice. Again, my name is Melissa Dunn. I run the Melissa Dunn Realty team. Please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up so that way we know and we can continue creating videos that you enjoy watching. Again, you can always just click the link in my bio. That will take you directly to my personal calendar where you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one private consultation with me totally free and as always please feel free call text email send a smoke signal however we can help you be make dfw your home please let us know all right we'll talk to you soon bye guys start enjoying our area if you'd like to learn more click the button below